Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, it's Ezekiel Ray. We all should be staying home as much as possible and all that good stuff. Me, I've been mostly staying home, so I'm taking advantage of the time that I'm home to just put out something into the world. A friend of mine has been, not pressuring me, but they suggested that I should use pegboard to put up my cables and everything, and currently they're all just kind of stuck in a box, sitting on the floor and I don't have a lot of floor space so they were kinda in the box towards in a corner towards the back of like behind my keyboard and so they weren't really easy to get to and I always had to like whatever it was inconvenient a little bit of a side story um, a while back I was rearranging my room and decided to move my bookshelf by myself and it's made out of cheapy plywood and only held together with little nails and like a paper backing kinda thing yeah, but it fell apart. It fell in, it broke in half. So, um, I was left with only half a bookcase, but I held on to the other shelves and the other side pieces just in case I ever needed them. And so now I am going to attempt to DIY my own pegboard using that shelf. So this is the shelf I'm going to be using as the backboard. Um, it was actually the perfect length for the space I want to use it in. So I already marked where... I'm going to want the spacing to be. Uh, I did make a little bit of a calculation error or judgment error, I guess. This is where I had it originally after I marked the center. This is just clearly too close. So then I just moved everything over an inch. Same on that side. So all I need to do is drill the hole. And I'm thinking of using a dowel, but I'm just going to see what I have on hand. To know how long I want each dowel to be, I'm going to be going off of my XLR cables because they're my longest ones so that when I wrap them they're going to be the thickest. So when I measured it was only about an inch. It's about the size of my thumb. So I'm thinking two and a half inches should be enough room to hang at least two wires and then have a little room to spare just so that way they're not falling off. Alright, I found something to use for the, uh, the pegs itself. I just happened to have this lying around so Lucky me, I don't have to go buy anything. I didn't want to use something cheapy, like too thin, that wouldn't be able to support the weight of the cables. So this is actually like the perfect uh, width. So now I'm going to go cut this to size and draw all the holes. To accommodate two cables as well as the thickness of the board that the peg would have to be inserted into, I decided to cut the pegs into 5 inch length. To make sure that the pegs would be more or less flush with the back of the board, I decided to sand them down as much as I could. It wasn't going to be perfectly straight, but it would be good enough. I started drilling the holes needed for the screws that would hold the board to the wall. Then I drilled starter holes for where the pegs would go. I had to slowly increase the size of the bit to make it easier to get to the size that I needed. Eventually, I needed to switch to a bigger drill for the larger bit size. Alright, so before I glue the pegs into the board, I wanted to use the board to go ahead and measure where I'm going to have to screw it into the wall. My idea of using little angles to like hold it up wasn't going to really work out just because of the design of the angles and the weight that would be on the board. So we're going to have to go ahead and screw into the wall using uh, some butterfly screws, I think that's what they're called. What those things do, like you screw it into the wall and it'll expand so it'll catch more of the drywall. So like if you can't get into a stud in the wall, it'll just hold it up better. So that's what we're going to be using. And I'm going to go ahead and measure where those holes are going to be. All right, so I've got the holes marked on the wall where they need to go. Next is just to glue the pegs into the board and then let it dry overnight.
Alright everybody, so it's the next day, and after letting the glue dry overnight, um, I'm now ready to put up the board. So I forgot to get footage of me actually attaching the board to the wall, but here you can see I'm attaching an angle to the bottom where it will support more of the weight of the cables. Okay, it's finally finished, and I'm really happy with how this came out. So overall, this was a pretty simple DIY. I didn't spend any money. All the materials I used, I just happened to have on hand. And kind of just goes to show that if you <laughs> happen to have just like extra pieces of stuff lying around, you can make something pretty useful. With all that said, let's take a look. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, all that classic YouTuber stuff. Leave a like, subscribe, whatever. Um, but more importantly, uh, during this time of like insecurity and just crazy stuff going on in the world, just remember to stay safe, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, wear masks, all that good stuff. You know, follow what health officials the world over have been telling us for weeks already just so this can be over as quickly as possible and people's lives can get back on track. Um, so anyway, yep, that's it for me and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.